Hello friends, Rosie Lentz from Spirit Blossoms here. I wanted to talk today really quick about how the narcissist will harpoon, destroy, and hijack the holidays. A narcissist up to two weeks a month, even a month early of, a, of, a, of an anniversary, a birthday, or some sort of a special occasion, the even the anniversary of a death, will do whatever they can to make it about them. Their goal is to ruin your day. When I was with my narcissist, not only did I not get a present, my birthday was ruined. They would try and jump into the last second. Oh, you didn't include me in your birthday plans. Well, duh, I didn't because I knew you would ruin it. And the narcissist will hijack Christmas, Easter, Thanksgiving, um, Yom Kippur, whatever it is. They will come in and they will hijack that holiday. They'll hijack an anniversary. They'll, they'll either wish you happy birthday a day, a week late, or they will um, do whatever they can to infuse their own drama into that holiday, ruining it not just for you, but for everyone that's involved. Some of the how-tos of not to let a narcissist destroy your holiday. <laughs> First off, don't invite them if you don't have to. If you must invite them, if you have to do it um, in waves, like invite people at, invite one group of people at one o'clock, another group of people at three o'clock, do it that way right? Invite them for dinner or just invite them for dessert, right? So you can filter when they are there. If it's your birthday, just don't include them if you do, if you have to. Don't include them. You don't have to include them in the marking of your day, even if it is a spouse or a romantic partner. Hey, I'm going to have a girl's day out for my birthday. Thanks for thinking of me. Catch you later. That's what I ended up having to do with my narcissist who made it a point to do what he could to destroy my birthday year after year. And in the whole time we were together, I got maybe, I don't know, five presents. And they were things that were important to him. Including just, I mean, some of the stuff. I'm and I'm glad if it, I'm glad to have only gotten five because it limited my. How do I say this? It limited my my necessity for feeling beholden to him. Don't let the narcissist destroy, destroy your holiday if you know they're going to be in a bad space. And let me tell you folks, they are. It's not going to be all about them, all about their drama, all about their needs. And they're going to monopolize the whole thing. And then it just leaves everyone feeling falling flat and feeling guarded and giving you indigestion. As Thanksgiving is approaching, friends, think about how you really want to spend your holiday. Do not do it with a narcissist if you don't have to. Just because they're family doesn't mean you have to spend time with them. Or if you do, limit your exposure. I'm going to give you one of my one of my uh, tips and tricks. One of them is three ways of out. I have to go wash my hands. I promise to go to go to a friend's house and and have dessert with their family. Or three. I really have to get home and take care of my dogs or feed my animals. Have three outs. One, two, three. When you are hanging out with a narcissist. Or, here's the best idea yet. If you're invited to their house, you have plans. You already have plans. Do not let the narcissist hijack your holiday. Or your special day, especially when it comes to birthdays and anniversaries and special occasions. They will hijack your holiday and you will not be building positive memories because of this person. 
limit your involvement and your exposure if you at all possibly can. That's, this is Rosie Lynn's for Spirit Blessings. I hope this has been helpful. If you need help in navigating the holidays, please give me a call. My information is in the contact information is in the section below. Please remember to like, share, and ring that notification bell so that I can we can get the word out to stop the pandemic of narcissism in our world. No more people or families destroyed. Thank you, friends. I love you. I believe in you. You're amazing. Thank you for watching all the way through from me to you.